Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, opening this FNS like it's my own actual movie clip thing. But anyhow, I'm joined tonight by Dilly DV, as usual. What are you playing right now, Dilly? I'm playing Snoop Coden 2, and I should be playing Azure Dreams, but I forgot about it. Awesome. That's more than enough from you. Genray, what's up with you? How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm glorious. How are you, Johnny? I'm doing just fine. And what are, where are you playing for the people? Should I'm they... playing Final Fantasy V, and I'm finishing Breath of Fire 2. Thank oh. God. Wow, that's certainly a task. And now we move to you. Mr. Utorai, who's always here. What have you been playing lately, Utorai? I've been playing Digimon. I'm actually doing that right now. Uh, I probably shouldn't be. Well, it's too late. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoy your Fallout 3 videos, by the way. Lots of fun to watch. Thank you. Unless you're wasting your ammo, which is what you do constantly. But but anyway. I have to blow people's faces off, Johnny. I suppose you do. Occasionally. Anyhow, going down the line, we got B Dude, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And what have you been up to lately? B Dude just started Final Fantasy VIII a few days ago. Yep, line run on that one, and as well, working through Tales of Fantasia. I'm about halfway through that one as well. Awesome. And we are joined our special guest tonight, Mr. Ryan Phoenix. You can find him on, on all of our channels, in our boxes. He's been one of the best comment, commenters that any LPer could wish for. He just started LPing Vandal Hearts. How are your first experiences in the LP community, Ryan? How's it going? Uh, oh, I'm enjoying it so far there. Uh, I'm glad to be part of the Friday Night Skype tonight here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. So I guess our first question that we're going to talk about tonight is software that we use, emulators, um, video capturing, editing tools. Everyone, it's, it's probably the one thing that a lot of us get comments and personal messages about. So... Who wants to, does anyone have any stories, any kind yeah. of trials and tribulations they've had with the recording software in the past? Leave the, Dilly, what do you got for us? Uh, well, you know me, I, I got my information from you, mostly, and I, I followed your route, and I was using Hypercam for a little bit. Um, I used Hypercam 2, which worked out okay. I wasn't particularly happy with it, but I liked, the one thing I did like about the Hypercam is that after you got done recording, it would throw everything into its own folder and own, own browser. Mm -hmm. or I think the third one did that. Um, and then I moved up to Camtasia, which was like a whole new world. Um, and I, I remember between Hypercam 3 and Camtasia, Hypercam 3 would, like, you could upload it directly from there, as does Camtasia. And that was that was a good, you know, leap going from, Camt from Hypercam 2 to Hypercam 3 to then, like, jumping to Camtasia with its uh, annotations and its, you know, its audio and you can actually do your own voiceover you don't have to do it um during the recording which is nice and uh they actually have a picture in picture mode too to record your um reactions which is nice i haven't done that yet uh if i ever come to a part that's ridiculous i'm sure i'll start recording my face yeah that's one thing i really like about it because i mostly do post post commentary and the fact that I don't have to have the sound going from my speakers into my microphone when I record, so I can actually move around and, and do other things rather than having to s sit perfectly still as I play the game, that is a very much an added feature for me. But So I think we all pretty much use Camtasia, because friends help each other out, and we've all got Camtasia now. Well, well yeah, well, not everyone. That's true. We have a Mac user amongst us. So, yes. dude, how about you tell us a little bit about your setup? Well, if you use, I use what's called ScreenFlow, which is Mac exclusive, and basically it can capture, capture your screen. You can also do that picture-in-picture -picture thing like what Dilly was doing, and afterwards you can also edit inside that software, and it shows all the layers and such, and you can do borders and whatever else that you can do. The only thing you can't do in it is add extra effects, which you don't really need to do anyways as far as LPing goes, and I'm talking about like explosions and sparkles and all that junk that I don't think we really have any use for, do we? Uh, not necessarily. Although I'd like to get into more of those type of videos. If I was something just like really over the top, I used to do a really old series called Nintendo Power Time Machine that some people are probably still subscribed to me for because they hope that I'll do another one. And believe me, I will. I promise all of you <laughs> that actually know what I'm talking about, I will do another one, but I haven't done it in like uh, nine months probably, but um, I really want to get around to that. It's just a lot of work that I have to put into it, reviewing an entire old issue of Nintendo Power, and then adding in video game footage of the articles being presented, and uh, you know, syncing it all up. It can be a lot of work, but I promise I will get around to another one of those eventually. I have a question for you about that, Johnny. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever gotten a request, a request to do a specific issue of Nintendo Power? Uh, I don't think so. I, people have asked me if I have certain issues of them. Like, I did the Super Metroid issue. not too, I think it was the last one I did, and that's a pretty popular issue. Uh, but I don't have a lot of them. I, I started collecting, or not collecting them, just subscribing to them in, like, the middle of 94. And then I think it was subscribed to them until, like, the middle of 99, like, right as the uh, N64 was becoming really popular. So, and I don't have a lot of those issues anymore. Of of all those issues, I think I probably only have about maybe 30 of them left. But, uh, you know, hope planning on going to MegFest this year. And I know people have said that they have vendors that sell old issues of Nintendo Power that are probably much, much better condition than the issues that I have. So... I will definitely plan on getting a few of those there if I if I have the time and the money and find the right guy. How much does Nintendo Powers go for? I mean, aren't those like considered like a retro item now? Uh, not really. I mean, you can get them really cheap. I mean, still they're not super old. I forget when they started coming out with them. I want to say like 1990. Mario Brothers 2 was the very first like cover feature was on Mario Brothers 2. I know that much, but. I wonder how much issue number one is. You can get it pretty cheap. You probably play like only like twenty bucks most for it. So they're not like collectible items where you can you know. Grab they're the whole they're collectible, but they were made in in such mass quantities, and it's still a magazine that's going today, unlike a lot of other um, video game magazines. So I think that. Oh, I didn't know it was still in uh, production. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah, they still make them today. Uh, I haven't been subscribed to them for a long time, obviously, but uh, if you wanna. Get it, you know, you can get that. I also had um, PlayStation Magazine for a year, and that was really fun, because that was when uh, the PS2 had first come out, and they gave out demo discs with, with each um, issue every month, which I thought was awesome, a great way of getting your product out there, because you had so many games you could play. I, I probably played the, just the demo for Twisted Metal 2, like, so many freaking times. And it's only the, the first stage, and I do think you get a select from any of the vehicles, though, but man... I really want to buy that game one of these days. It's expensive, though. <laughs> as popular of a game as it is, it's pretty expensive. I don't know. Well, I just found Nintendo Power Issue 1 on eBay for 35 bucks. Yeah, on eBay. You could probably get it get it cheaper, really. That's the eBay price. But, you know, that, I'd, I'd pay like 30 bucks for it, probably, if I found it for that much. In really good condition, like near mint condition, though. But anyhow, that's uh, Nintendo Power for you. Awesome magazine to have back in the day because we didn't have things like the internet. Oh, it, was, kid, it was your kids and your internet. Your Tim, kids and your internet. You didn't get nowhere unless you had the power. All right, that's the bottom or line. Or just a lot of time. A whole hell of a lot of time. Like I said, you know, when I did my uh, Legend of Zelda LP, anyone that discovered some of those really hidden away things in the original Legend of Zelda, for instance, and my God, I just hats off to them, because that is insane. Just to find your way around in that open world, my God. Anybody who finished Simon's quest without cheating? <laughs> oh, That's they're true. a liar. <laughs> yes, you have to kneel against a wall for five seconds while having something particular equipped, and then wait for a tornado to come sweep you away to the next area. <laughs> Yeah, that's Logic says a tornado should appear if I kneel at this mountain. <laughs> so, Ryan Phoenix, what do you use? I come to think of it, I don't know what you use or oh, how I you use even record. Uh, I use Camtasia Studio. Oh. Uh, and then I use uh, Audacity for my uh, for my voiceover to record that because I like recording it separately so I can play around with that, the volume and everything. Yeah. I really, I should probably look into better stuff than just using Windows Sound Recorder to record <laughs> post commentary. It's as ghetto as you get, but I mean, it's 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 decent quality. I can't complain. The only thing that I, it's, I yeah, really, really want to change for the cheap is just to get a headset, so I don't have kind of the echoey, kind of the coming back kind of sound. Well, Audacity is free, so yeah. yeah. But Camtasia, take you can do all that in the audio on Camtasia. You can delete background noise. You can uh, enhance, you know, male and female voices. Yeah, I've, I've I played around with that. I didn't notice that much of a difference in the enhancing the voice feature, but I noticed a big difference in the background. You can uh, it is yeah it, it does it does make um, a difference. Because I got a program called, jeez, um, oh I forget. It's got a really weird name to it too, but it 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 just makes your voice stand out more. Uh, Noxus Bulgar gave it to me, and not to say that's what makes his voice such the uh, Morgan Freeman of LPers like he is, <laughs> but uh, he said like there's a major difference. I started using it like halfway through my uh, Mario RPG, 
videos, and uh, he said that there was a major difference in them, and I haven't heard any of that from anyone else, but I'll take his word for it, I guess. Well, he's probably the one who knows what to look for. Yeah, oh, he, he knows a lot about the technical aspect of it, that's for sure. So how many of us are knowledgeable in the uh, recording software tech, huh? Does anyone have, like, a degree to talk about this? <laughs> If I would have taken a video a video editing class earlier in my college career, I probably would have majored in video editing. But it was literally the last elective that I took in my entire college career, and I'm just like, oh, no, it's too late now. Really what fun. What's you again, Ray? You, you're old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you're old. You must know things. Johnny's retarded. <laughs> oh, um, There's no winning. No, you're honestly, me. I started using. Basically, the uh, the SNES 9X emulator has a the feature where it record the uh, the game footage for you, which is kind of awkward because it mutes the sound and it necessarily lags for no reason. But the, the footage itself is not lagged, so like you can't do. It's hard to do live commentary like that when you're think seeing the game slow down, but it's not real. So mm-hmm. that's true. That's why I like doing stuff in post because there just seems like there's so much that can go wrong doing it live that it's just easier for me to do that. Also, for me to collect my thoughts, and if I want to just go off on a rant and and talk about something completely non-video game related, it's easier to do that way, I feel. Wait, what do you mean things could go wrong when you're live commentating? Well, you might have leg. You might have have syncing issues. I mean, stuff that could probably... Oh, I thought you meant like... I thought you meant, like, physically commentating, like, oh, and then, oh, I broke my leg. Oh, hold on, guys. (laughs) Hopefully it's not that physical, but... You know, a good segue question that I just thought up was, what led you guys to choose the first game that you LP'd? Like, what was your, your reasoning behind, like, this is the first game I'm going to do? And how about B-Dude? B-Dude started off. Uh, why did I pick Final Fantasy IV? Probably because I knew that game pretty darn well, and... I don't know. Didn't really have to think about what I was doing, so I could kind of try to get into a groove, which still took me like three LPs later. <laughs> but hey, it's my, it was a milestone. Something. I mean, it's a great game. You can't go wrong starting with that. That's for sure. Uh, well, I guess we know what Ryan and Dilly's first LP ever was. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So the question doesn't exactly apply. I don't know what Gen- Gen- Genra yours was. Mega Man X, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> my Mega Man brother. Honestly, it was um, the reason I got into uh, less playing in the first place is I was watching this guy, uh, White Mage Serenia, and he was playing it, and I was like, "Well, this sounds like a cool idea. I've got free time. I should." And I put it off, you know, in the back of my head for a couple days, and then I was at the computer playing Mega Man X, and I, you know, was looking at it, and I hit the thing that said record, and I just recorded the whole thing in like a sitting. And then I waited till later when everybody was asleep because that microphone picked up everything mm-hmm. and did commentary after it and was like, you know what, I'll post this on YouTube and see what everybody thinks. And nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like one of the many who thought that instantly I'm going to have a thousand subscribers. No, not even that. I was just expecting course. somebody to be like, hey, this is good. But no, nobody cared. Well, you know, that's why it might have been a good idea for me to start with Pokemon because everyone loves Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I hear that, Johnny. That was a good choice <laughs> on my part, too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care for Pokemon that much. Well, well you're in the minority. Care. You yeah, should yeah, probably you die know. in a fire. That's Bye, thank you. Good. Yes. <laughs> probably. Uh, I only chose that first because my major influence for getting into Alpine was Nintendo Capri Sun, who's an awesome guy. I only live like three hours away from him, and I thought well, someday I hope I could meet him. Maybe we'll meet him at Makefest. Hopefully we will. But um, he's, I noticed that I had the Visual Boy Advance emulator, and that's what he used. And then he's like, well, you can record directly off of this in an AVI format. And I'm like, holy crap, really? So I just started recording that. And it wasn't the most reliable thing. I, I, I would have videos that just wouldn't come out or they'd be corrupt when I pushed the end record button. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was something. And it was lots of fun. And it was Pokemon Leaf Green. And I, of course, grew up in, like, you know, sixth grade playing Pokemon Blue. So I'm like, yeah, here's a game that I know really well, and I can play it. And I got a lot of people telling me that it was good because I wasn't just, like, this average, ridiculous 12-year-old that was playing Pokemon. You know, I was a 25-year-old playing Pokemon, <laughs> which, you know, come, <laughs> comes across as being a man to play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> comes across as such a better situation to find yourself in. But uh, that was lots of fun to do, and, and I'm not done with Pokemon either. There will be more Pokemon in the future. I just don't know one yet, but... 
you know, people can give Pokemon as hard of the time as they want, but it's a solid RPG when it comes down to it. So, I'll get around to Pokemon eventually. I, that's, that's all I got to say about that. I'll be certain the new Pokemon eventually, too. Pokemon Heart Gold, I think, is what I'll do. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been so long since I actually played a Pokemon game. How about you, Ryan Phoenix? You must get a lot of Pokemon stuff from all your kids. <laughs> oh, a little bit here and there. Like, they watch the cartoon. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for those watching there, I actually have four kids. Uh, those listening in, <laughs> you so. probably tell them, back in my day, this cartoon used to be good. <laughs> back in the day, that's right. <laughs> this is a terrible cartoon. Watch this stuff. Ash has been a Pokemon trainer for decades, and he still doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And he's still, and he's trying still to do it. Or does that back to grow up? It would be so weird if Pokemon were real. That would just be such a crazy world to live in. It's like, well, you're 12 years old. There's some Pokeballs, now go out into the world and capture some Pokemon. You know, awesome. speaking, speaking of things that are that would blow your mind if they're real, you know, Digimon are real. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds retarded, Dilly. You probably should have nope. said that out loud. No, nope. look, okay, they live in a digital <laughs> world, okay? <laughs> All right, they live in I, the whole purpose of Digimon. Okay, Dilly, Dilly, you, you can't explain my theory. Let me do it. Okay, by, sorry. By, <laughs> by, the, by the canon of the Digimon show, all they are... Oh, God, we're getting into canon now. Jesus all they, Shut up, Johnny. Shut up, shut up. All they are <laughs> is code on a computer. In real life, all they are is code on a computer. Therefore, they match up with the canon, and therefore, Digimon are real. That's that's very retarded of you, Atari. Yeah, Moving really right retarded. along. It's not retarded. I mean, it's just that. It's not like you can fucking pull them out of computers and shit. No, that's retarded, but... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's going too far. Everything else makes perfect sense, though. They they are real. In real life, they are what they are in the anime. As far as I remember, last I remembered, it was established all it is is code and a computer. Lots of ones and zeros. Lots of binary. Uh, anyhow, I had this theory that Pokemon, if they were real, someday they'd just get out of control with how big they are, and it would kind of turn into, like, Starship Troopers. That's what I thought. You know, we'd all make, like, machine guns, and, like, there would be, like, skythers that looked like those bug enemies and in, in, in freaking Starship Troopers and the giant beetles, and they'd just, like, totally destroy us because we wouldn't be able to control them anymore. Yeah, speaking well, of Starship, Starship Troopers, Pokemon. Starship Troopers, there were some great set of titties in that movie, let me tell you. <laughs> That's what everyone saw the movie for. I don't know. It, it's, it, it's got NPH. Everyone loves Neil Patrick Harris. Amazing guy. Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. If you haven't seen it, you got to see that. Yeah, you know, I've heard great things about that. Is it really just a sing-along, or what's going on? Um, it's a musical. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, and it's got uh, Nathan Fillion, who was the, you know, Captain Malcolm in uh, Firefly. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh man. It's, plays Captain Hammer. It's awesome. Like you should, and, you know, Joss Whedon, who you know, Joss, Joss, Joss Whedon made it. Whedon. <laughs> Joss Whedon. Woo Whedon. Woo Whedon. Anyhow, but yeah, that's how I've always thought about. Pokemon. It would be really weird if it was real. Like, going into the Viridian Forest, like, there are so many Pokemon in those trees, there'd be nothing but corpses of dead Pokemon everywhere <laughs> and just bones. It'd be absolutely terrifying to be in a place like that. Just walk down the street, throw a Pokeball at someone's dog. <laughs> <laughs> the lead- Mine, no! Oh, man. So how- Beedrill would be, it would be a serious problem. Imagine how many people would be allergic to Beedrill and, like, how many cases they'd have to deal with. Probably... <laughs> Too many. It's called natural selection, Dilly. We just they, need to get over it. We would need Ekans and Arbok anti-venom. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you can only hope so. The and logistics it, of real-life Pokemon are ridiculous. Everybody would at least... It, like, handguns would be a requirement. No longer a right. It would now be a requirement of everybody. And but, just in case... You have the, the right to bear arms. <laughs> Man just, uh, mauled by wild Growlithe. <laughs> well, everyone would just be mugging each other and stealing each other's Pokemon. There wouldn't be any sort of Pokemon competition at all. Team Rocket would be a violent, organized criminal organization. They already are. What are you talking about? Switchblade, I choose you. Switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> now the winner's the first one that pulls a knife. Things have really changed. <laughs> the Team Rocket? No, nope. just Team. Give me your Pokemon, or I'll cut you. <laughs> Oh, man. So, enough about Pokemon. B-Dude, how are you enjoying Final Fantasy VIII? It's a game that I hate with a passion. Well, in that case, no, it's pretty <laughs> interesting so far. I mean, I'm still kind of going through the tutorial stuff, so I'm kind of... I think I picked up most I'm going to need to know. 
other than I need to, I haven't played the card game yet, but as far as like all the stat oh, yeah, building and such go, I, I should be good, and it's time to pwn face. Well, considering how hard you have it out for Final Fantasy VII and it being the worst game of all time, I'm sure that you'll find enjoyment in this one. I, I didn't say that. I just said it really no, terrible. No, you didn't, you didn't have like to say it. You nothing. We heard you loud and clear from Canada, buddy. <laughs> Did you figure out how to break the game in, like, the first 40 minutes? No, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I didn't even know you could break the game in the first 40 minutes. But... Oh, I'm totally going to when I get there. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried. I, I did read that comment, though. <laughs> the drawing oh, I magic? I do know how to. Oh. Well, Genray, speaking of Final Fantasy, you're playing Final Fantasy V. Oh, yeah. How are you enjoying that one? Oh, uh, it's just as eh as I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the job system in that game, though. It's so much fun to play around with. The mixing and matching is just, it's just so fun. It's addicting, well, almost. Aside from Blue Mage, I don't feel any different than if I played any other Final Fantasy ever told this game. This is true. Because there's nothing new yet. It's like, oh, look, here's the same six job classes you've had pretty much your entire career as a Final Fantasy player. Oh, and here's Blue Mage. Well, don't worry. Soon enough you'll have a team full of dancers, and then it will all seem worthwhile. <laughs> oh, I answered that question about uh, the learning that Turnips Bro Radish asked. I don't know if you saw that, Genry. Uh, No. About the if Butts gets hit with a spell and he has learning on, and then you make Ferris a Blue Mage, does she know that spell? Is that, is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like buying magic. As soon as someone knows uh, it, everyone knows it. All right, so everybody knows Goblin Punch. Okay. Yeah. I should go back to that shrine, and I can't do that now, but there's apparently more blue magic in there you could possibly learn, but it's a pain in the ass. Those yeah, there's like, a like big deal. There's like three of them you can get right off the bat or something. Well, there should be. I mean, considering you have blue mage right from the get-go, it makes sense. Well, technically, you don't get the crystal. You don't get the job until you're out of that dungeon. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've never used really blue mages or like the enemy skill materia from Final Fantasy VII or any of that stuff at all. I just haven't really found it worth it. Or Kimari learning enemy skills in Final Fantasy X. It's never bothered <laughs> with it. Kimari needs like four skills and that's it. <sighs> yeah, that's just it. For like every good one, there's like ten crappy ones, it always feels like. Deathclaw is pretty sweet when it works. When it works. When it like, works. Bad breath, white wind. That's all you need, really. <laughs> and one super heavy damage one. That's uh, a big guard. Big guard's always a good one. Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anything from a Marlboro, that's got to be good for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will throw see, every see set of gentlemen at you. Period. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a good time now. Now that you're a sleeping frog, it's poison and spinning in circles. Let's continue and is, the battle. And is a, a midget pig as well. And is a midget pig as well. <laughs> You know what? You need to pick frog. I should probably pissed. just reset the entire concept right now. Pissed midget frog. <laughs> half midget, half pig frog. Man, it's midget. a midget pig frog. I told you it <laughs> exist. I told you. Oh. And we have digressed. <laughs> Hooray. Johnny, always being on target. Never allowed to segue off into random South Park or... You shut up. You even Anchorman. <laughs> yeah. Let's just start shut your dirty something. whore mouth, all right? <laughs> I'll punch you, you right in the ovary. <laughs> Don't make me shoot you in the back of my head with a BB dirty, gun. Pirate, okay. I have nothing wrong with his dirty whore mouth. <laughs> B-Dude likes it. B-Dude enjoys the dirty. B-Dude enjoys a lot of weird stuff. He's from Canada. He likes Canadian bacon and milk in a bag. You don't know how to explain it. Speaking of does. bacon. What? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Milk in a bag? What? Totally Canadian thing. <laughs> Evaporated milk? What? Huh? I don't believe you. Anyhow. Oh, God. <laughs> Does this make me an evil person if I don't answer the phone who is my mother-in-law because I'm doing a Friday night Skype? I think that's that's perfectly... Yes. Yes, uh, that's fine. Okay, then. Screw it. Wait, yes. wait. That makes him an evil person again, Ray? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Do you, so, so you talk to your stepmom? Or mother-in-law? I am, I am entirely not... Concerned about his feelings about the matter. <laughs> <laughs> there just needs to be an increase in stepmom talking or, or in law talking. In law. Yeah. Ryan, do you like talking to your in laws? Oh, I get I get along great with my in laws, so that's not a problem. So you dress up like Stave of Marshmallow Man and take your kid that, out, that's right, trick yeah. or treating, <laughs> dance Ghostbusters, because that is awesome. Truly. An awesome dad thing to do. So or you make them a, like a custom Hy- Hyrulean shield. I want a Hyrulean shield. Everyone wants a Hyrulean shield. I'll get right on that for you, Dilly. 
<laughs> so have you I bought them build. all of the shows from your past and you have them sit down and watch them religiously on DVD? It's like, and uh, now we're going to watch the whole first season of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they do have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> they uh, have the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. <laughs> That's really old. Like, I hardly remember any of that myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do the Mario. <laughs> Swing your arms from side to side. Yeah, that's... Uh, I was going to put that in the end of my Mario RPG LP. That would have been really funny. Oh, that would have been great. Uh, Shame on you for not doing it now. Well, the whole oh, thing broke Friday. down on me. It's a long story, whatever. I'm not even going to bother with it. Not on Friday Night Sky, but we need to talk about exciting things. Like, uh, right. uh, I don't know. Help me out here, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm it seems that, honestly, everybody at some point is going to have, like, a, where one of their games breaks down. Like, I had the same thing happen with the ending for Final Fantasy III. Mm. Well, it was just like, no, I'm not working. Tell it was you. it was weird because I I you know I've been allowed to put up stuff for 15 minutes forever, but then when I was putting up the finale of uh, Mario RPG, it said you can't put up stuff that's over 15 minutes. That's right. Somebody. Same thing. Same thing happened to me at the exact same time with my Sukoden. Uh, it was it was episode 12. It was part 12. It was like 15 minutes. It were 18 minutes long. I was like, oh, this is kind of long. I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I I signed up for the 15 minute. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh. Whatever, and then yeah. then I get denied. And Johnny's like, "Oh, that happened to me too." I was like, "Well, I hope they don't think I'm Johnny. I'm not retarded." Yeah, they don't want to think of me. I'm totally retarded. Shut the hell up. <laughs> no, retarded or <laughs> hairy, huh, <laughs> Billy? Uh, yeah, where okay, did I get Robin Williams hairy from? I'm not Robin Williams hairy, for the love of God. <laughs> I'm gonna have another beer. <laughs> <laughs> see, what, see what you've done, Dilly? You drove him to drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sure is real hard to get Johnny to drink a beer. All you gotta do is think Johnny drink a beer, and he's already got one in his mouth. On a Friday night, it's pretty much a given. Uh, um, all right. Well, I'm drinking my beer. Talk amongst yourselves. We all, we all need that given. I think Ginray <laughs> Ginray has something to say. Well, I was thinking of we're supposed to be discussing games and we usually end up going off on wild tangents about Johnny's retardation and my oldness. Mm. But I was thinking, um, everyone has that one game that they played they really, really like, and they wish there was another one, but there never was. So what game would you like to see a sequel for? Not a remake, a sequel. Hmm. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is Chrono Trigger. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I mean, just because... I think in a lot of people's eyes, Chrono Cross was a bit of a letdown, probably just because it didn't really have a lot to do with Chrono Trigger. Yeah. But I, I think it's awesome. I still love Chrono Cross. I actually, I I got that game because my brother took WrestleMania 2000 for the N64 and left it over at a friend's house. I never got it back. So to pay me back, I guess he told, told my mom, and they got me Chrono Cross. And I really got into that game. Still got the uh, strategy guide. Definitely going to LP that someday. That game was awesome. Just uh, the fact that at the end you had like 30 plus party members to choose from. So much fun. Um, uh, go ahead, Dylan. Uh, I, um, I know you guys have never heard of this game, and I talked about it a lot. I really wanted, wanted a uh, sequel to The Last Remnant because not only was it a great game, but they left it open. Of all things to do, to leave a game open, and then not do a sequel. I mean, there's talk, I've heard, I've read some forums, and I've heard talk of a sequel, but as far as I'm concerned, it'll never freaking happen. Yeah. And it's such a letdown. Oh, it's such a letdown. Like, that game's, I would, that game's not even that old, is it? No, I think it's like an 08 or 09 game. Yeah, so I don't think it really counts, because there's still time. Yeah, there's still <laughs> room for a sequel there. Yeah, yeah there's within reason. But considering it's a game that not many people have heard of, I, I don't know. One whole time on that one. It's it's a rare, it's a very rare Square Onyx game that nobody. I bet I bet it doesn't have a sequel. To be honest with you. No, that happens. One of the main ones I keep hearing is uh, Legend of Dragoon. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That one that's, definitely needs more attention. That's a great example of a game that I had on a demo disc that I played the hell out of <laughs> and never never got around to actually buying it. And I know it's a cult classic. Now I think I saw it at a an anime convention like a couple of years ago, going for like fifty or sixty bucks, probably. Yeah, far more expensive than it should be. Yeah, I wish I could buy more Dreamcast games. I mean, Dreamcast games, though, there's a great outlet for games that should be get sequels. You got Shenmue three. I never played Shenmue two, but Shenmue one was really awesome, even if it was a lot of forklifting and quick time events. Yeah, Still- Shenmue two, not so much. 
Yeah, I, I never played it really. I've heard some some reviews on it, but I doubt I'll ever get around to that one. What about Quest sixty four? <laughs> we had, like, what about Quest 64? <laughs> what if we made like some sort of sequel? Be like Quest Wii U. I think oh my was, god! I think I, I had heard that there was supposed to be a sequel for it, and it just never happened. I think it was during that time when some games that were supposed to come out that never did, like um, uh, that Earthboundish game that was supposed to come out for N64 but never did. Earthbound 64. Oh, Earthbound 64. Yeah, yeah. 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 Earthbound 64. Yeah. Mother three. Yeah, it was kind of like Mother 3, if not supposed it, to be It was supposed to be Mother 3, but then they decided to just do it on the uh, Game Boy Advance, for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, because th- that was during the time when Nintendo had that short-lived disk drive, too, which is you know how Sony came to be, because they're trying to make a disk system, and Nintendo didn't want to work well with Sony, and that's how we got the PlayStation to begin with. A yeah. disk drive would have been sweet. They were planning DLC for Ocarina of Time. Yeah, but that never really... I mean, you can still get the disk drive, though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I imagine it's out there somewhere, but you can never get the full Ocarina of Time game that they wanted. Well, who knows. I heard what... Didn't they do for, like, the 3DS version? Didn't they just do Ocarina of Time, but they mirrored everything? It was, like, all in reverse or something of the sort? That's what I heard, at least. That sounds familiar. Um, that, like, all the towns I, were just mirrored I around. think you're thinking of... Uh, Twilight Princess. Because I know for sure for the Wii version, they mirrored that because uh, Link is normally left-handed, so they mirrored it so people would use the right hand to uh, swing the sword and stuff. Oh, um, that makes sense. All, all they did was flip the whole game over, yeah. That's all you gotta do. Sometimes. I, they, that was one of those executive decisions where, you know, 90% of the populace is right-handed, so <laughs> we, can't ever, we can't everybody try to I don't understand why they didn't just flip Link over. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played the game, so I don't remember if that's actually true that they flipped everything. But I remember hearing a lot about that. Yeah, I heard about that too, but I've never played the GameCube version of it, so I'm not sure if that... Yeah, they they did flip it because my second cousin had a GameCube version. I had the Wii version. They were flipped. Well, there you go. (laughs) There you You go, Myth Busted. Nope, well, I guess this kind of applies to a particular game, but growing up, I played a lot of beat-em-up games for the Super Nintendo, like Streets of Rage, in, or not Streets of Rage, it's Genesis, Final Fight in particular, and, you know, they brought Hager back for the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 game. I would love to see a new beat-em-up like that. I mean, they're so so mindless, but I know they tried to, like, redo uh, Turtles in Time for the Xbox Live Arcade. It's probably for the other systems as well, but it just looked like complete crap, and I heard that it controlled really poorly. Uh, I would just like to see a really awesome beat-em-up game like that. As for the, the PlayStation 2, I've got a game called God Hand, which is a really awesome throwback to those kind of games. And, man, I just remember all the hours I used to spend, like, you know, from probably, like, 5 to 10 years old playing those with my brother. They were just so pointless, but so much fun. I think uh, another game that should have gotten a sequel that didn't was uh, Rogue Galaxy. <laughs> that was a game I returned. Or no, wait, I didn't oh. return that. I, I sold it. <laughs> Never mind. What are you talking about? That game was awesome. I just couldn't get that big into it. I don't I'm, know. Yes, I, I, was... I guess I just wasn't in a really big RPG phase at the time, but I had seen it everywhere, and, and I just I just got it. And uh, yeah, it was it was cornballish. I will give you that. Uh, it just didn't look like anything special. I mean, it was probably really a solid RPG if I would have given it more of a chance than I did. But eh, I don't know. Just nothing about it stood out to me. Yeah. I would I, like to see a Silicon Valley 2, but there was no room for them to make one in terms of, like, where could they go with it. Yeah, that whole game looks like it's half done already. It's just bizarre. <laughs> it's a great looking. game, though. I would have loved to see a second <laughs> one. Like, severed heads and other weird stuff in that game. It just doesn't doesn't add up. It's just, like, bizarre. Although, I'm, yeah, I'm just, just so people don't leave it in the comments, I'm aware there's a Game Boy version, but I'm, like, 90% sure it's the same game. It probably is. For, uh, right, since, since my last remnant is invalid, I would like an, an Omega Boost <laughs> 2 game. Also invalid. That, what? <laughs> that is valid. That's the, that's the this is your choice, one Dilly. <laughs> no one knows what that is, Dilly. What's why Omega I, Boost? Why do I know games that you guys don't know? Aren't you guys like the old retro gamers and everything? Yeah. Yeah, but we play classics. You yeah, play we play we play good games. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, tell, us, tell us about Omega Boost, Dilly. We're interested now. Yeah, you can change the world here if you give it a really ravishing review. The whole world might love this game now. Well, right, I'll tell you right now, it has Steve Blum as a voice actor. <laughs> it had a it had a live action intro for um, during the game. It was a really cool live action intro. Are you saying there's full motion video in this game, Dilly? There is. It, they did a oh live action. Oh my god! Full... That's sacrilege. <laughs> No, it, it's a it's a 3D space shooter game. You're in a big you're in a big freaking robot, and you fire missiles, and you go you go back in time to um, stop the core from like over melting or something. It was just a fun. It was just a fun 3D <laughs> space shooter. It's hard it to explain, any, but it's a fun 3D space shooter. I don't I'm, I don't know how to explain it other than it was like Robotech, but you couldn't transform, and it was very, and it was like a 3D scrolling because you they were, it was very linear. You couldn't go anywhere, or do anything. The only voice acting after the intro was Omega Boost, it's all good, carry out the mission carefully, and then, you know, you started playing and murdering lots of things. That's better than Star Fox, where you just had good luck, and then rubble, 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 rubble. rubble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you, you're not coming through quite clearly there. Didn't, didn't General Pepper say, like, do a, a mission no, briefing? No, he just sits there with his sunglasses on, and he's just like, I don't even think he does. He's, just he's talking luck. about the original Star Fox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we play classic games, Dilly. I saw an N64. <laughs> if you say the N64 win, oh, well, well, I, mean, no. I mean, everyone reach the N64 through this version. computer. There we go. Let's, yeah, let's just talk about that. A game that deserves a true sequel. And we've talked about Star Fox before, but that game, seriously, I cannot That's believe right. that at E3 they did not announce something, anything for Star Fox. That was the last good Star Fox game. It would have made a lot of sense that if they couldn't. I wouldn't have expected them to come up with a... Well, they are doing a new Mario game, which looks too much like the old Mario game. And I obviously wouldn't expect them to do a new Zelda after Skyward Sword just came out last year. But uh, I would have loved to see like a major franchise have a title. Even even a new Metroid game would have been yeah. great. You know, I can't believe they let that slip like they did. Because that would have really... like That would have really done it for people to get the Wii U if they would have had a major franchise. What? Game. Metroid? Zelda? Oh, I'm down. Uh, well, at the same time, people have been disappointed that they didn't have their Mario for the Wii U right away. That's that's true, but... In, Even if it is a rehash of the same game that they just came out with the mm-hmm. new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Yeah, I guess they have a tradition to uphold, if you will, even though we had Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. <laughs> but, is there Luigi's Mansion 2? Uh, coming yeah. out on the 3DS. They're supposed to be. Okay. I was going to say, maybe they shouldn't make a sequel to that, but if they are... You know, I don't count handheld sequels. That that just doesn't count for me. <laughs> well, they've got to keep that handheld market alive because they're easily, you know, on top right now. And let's see, I mean, there's the Vita, which who knows how much more PlayStation is going to put into that. I mean, they're, well, they're coming they're out with putting, They're putting money into into the, the PlayStation Move. I doubt it's going to go anywhere. <laughs> well, the Move, the Move is, the Move might as well have been dead from the get-go. You know, the I mean, how long have they had, like, the iToy? Remember they had the iToy for the PlayStation 2? No, I don't even you, Are you serious? It came out quite early with the PlayStation 2. Maybe it was during the second-gen PlayStation 2. But they had the they had the iToy forever. Hmm. Yeah, then it comes oh, with some sort of card game or something like that. I, yeah. I never got into it there. And but. they had, like, there was a one game where, like, you bounced balloons or something. It was very, it was very mediocre. And for, like, you know, babies, basically, like... Toddlers, if you could the only walk. reason like anyone ever actively bought it is just so they could like do a face scan of themselves to put in their sports games as their created players. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't anything spectacular. So yeah, play, I doubt I doubt the hand PlayStation will get rid of the handhelds for the amount of money that they have put into just the eye toy and the move. The the play, the hand, PlayStation handhelds and going. I can't wait to see if Microsoft will ever put out a handheld. You know. That would be interesting to see a uh, Microsoft handheld system. I mean, what do you guys think it would be like? You think they would copy, like, the 3DS and the PlayStation Vita and put it into one? I think it would be very generic. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it would be like a little mini Xbox you carry around. <laughs> Something that you can play more first-person shooters on. We have Gears of War 3.2. Handheld. Woo! There, there was a Gears of War uh, prequel coming out. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, did you guys ever play Gears of War? Yep. Well, for a bit of it, then I was like, okay, this is lame. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have 
more quality things to do with my time, like stare at this wall. <laughs> Look at that paint dry. I'll be right over here. I you actually like the. I mean, they had the horde mode in. Uh, I think it was Gears Two, uh, or Three. I can't remember now. Yeah, they were, I think it was Gears Two. It, it was really good. You know. You know what I want to see? I want to see a sequel to Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> that would be awesome. Isn't that isn't that a new game as well? Didn't it come out a couple years ago? Plants vs. Zombies? No, it's, it's pretty old. It's been out for like three years at least. Oh, though, so. oh but the last remnant isn't is, is too old. <laughs> That's right. Screw you guys. Remember, <laughs> remember, remember we're Valley. focusing on good games, Dilly. Good games you don't is the exist. key <laughs> You're just a figment of everyone else's imagination. <laughs> you can go to hell. You can shut your dirty whore mouth anytime you like. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. Come at me with a Space Odyssey 2001 insult. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Cause cry sure he what just laugh because there. it's funny or cry because he has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. Uh, that game was awesome, and I'm not a big fan of tower defense games, but that game was, well, it was more or less a tower defense game, but man, was it addicting. But it was so... The, the story mode was really easy. Some of the mini games were more difficult to get the achievements, but overall, I mean, it was it was kind of easy, and I would love to see them just step that up, include some new stuff in it, and just it, it do like what they did with a lot of games now, where the sequel is not a far cry from the original, but they just tweak it out a bit and, and really polish it nicely, like a nice polished turd, you know. Do you know Do you know who does a good job at making sequels? Who's that? Ubisoft. If you've ever played the Assassin's Creed series, just from, like, 1 to 2 to Revelations, well, like, it is amazing the way the game progresses, and yet they still keep the old style. There's a reason they won E3. I mean. <laughs> it's a funny thing you mentioned, Ubisoft. Just a fun fact for y'all. Uh, my Team Fortress 2 team, our engineer actually works for Ubisoft, and he was present at the E3 conference. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well, uh, if you're really smart at those conferences, you'll probably load up half the seats with your employees, so you get the kind of reaction you want. Unless, of course, Usher comes out on stage, then he'll get no reaction whatsoever. <laughs> Everyone get up! Fuck you, I'm not getting up for anything. not going anywhere, alright? We're, we're sitting right here on my lazy ass. I'll spill my drink! Um, Very good. Well, we all become quiet when Beidou talks. That's appropriate. You're quiet because you were doing something over there. Yeah, right? we don't know what you were doing. <laughs> he was masturbating. <laughs> yeah, that's the obvious conclusion. I'm not Uto. The only conclusion. About? Stop uh, constantly I'm masturbating. I'm not doing anything right now. I, it's not from my end. <laughs> you sound like you're falling asleep. the other end? No. Terrible. He's terrible. Uh, everything. I, w- I was cleaning the screen of, of my iPad, so... Well, guys... now it's not time to be cleaning your screen. <laughs> what do you need to it's clean so screen filthy. for? Um, why do you need a clean screen? To see shit. What, we're just talking? I'm surfing the web, looking for stuff to talk about, looking for facts. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I wanted... You know what I wanted? I wanted a new Mario Party that's in the same vein as the old Mario Parties. Like Mario Party three. 9! Screw Mario Party 9. That was <laughs> crap. That was crap. What I want is is something like, have you guys ever played Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast before? Mm-hmm. I never played that. That was okay. an awesome game. All right, it, it was it was shitty from the standpoint of that it was a complete ripoff of Mario Party, but what they did right with it was that even if you played a Dreamcast before, you might be aware that they had VMUs as their uh, visual memory units, as their memory cards for it. Yeah. And you would stick one of them in so you could see the screen. And instead of rolling a dice, you had cards. And each card had a number on it. And I think there were a couple others that were lucky or bad. And you could see what cards you had. So you you, you could select what card you wanted. Or you could randomly take someone else's card if you wanted to risk it to move a certain number of spaces. Because you had to land on stuff with a specific number of spaces. And I thought that was just awesome. And it would be really cool if they did something like that in the next Mario Party, the next one they have for uh, you know the Wii U, hopefully, because we got this giant ass gamepad to play around with now. So. So you want them to rip off of the rip off? Yeah, rip off there the rip go. off. Yeah. We own Sonic now. Sonic is nothing without us. Sonic, Sonic is nothing with us. <laughs> <laughs> also true, but he had it coming. You knew what he was doing. You knew what he was up against. I think it's like that when. They realized what a mistake it was trying to put Sonic, you know, a classic 2D side-scrolling hero into a 3D environment. 
they just realized, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to make a hand that has fucking both of them. So <laughs> people can pick what they want. Did you guys uh, ever play, um, was it uh, Mario Olympics, something like that? Yeah, I played it briefly. What What was your impression? Um, I had played a lot of uh, Olympic-style games like that for the Dreamcast before, and probably for some other systems. You know, good old track and field, of course, for oh, the yeah. NES. <laughs> and uh, I, I thought it was just like any of those. No better, no worse. What so. about that game you played for the Game Cage, which I don't remember, the athletic one? Oh, the Nintendo. Guts. Guts. Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Nickelodeon Guts. Do, 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 do you have it? Uh, that was terrible. I went back. You can watch a few episodes on YouTube. I went on YouTube and started looking up episodes like, they're not doing front flips and grabbing onto <laughs> metal poles with their bare hands and climbing them without the use of their feet. I feel ripped off. They are still running into walls, though, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this kid, that's the best part of that game. They say run faster than the screen will carry them. And then, bam, just hit a wall. And then they got a life meter that doesn't mean shit. And then they cross the finish line and they collapse. So. Oh, God. I mean, it, and that's funny, too, because I originally intended that to be a game that I went into really enjoying, because I had some fond memories of it growing up. Good two-player game, at least, but, man... That was hard as shit when I started playing that one player. It had been so long since I tried to play it, too. <laughs> so what's a game you guys go back to? Like, or okay, what is a game that you guys have gone back to, like, that, uh, that you haven't played in, let's say, five to ten years? Uh, Harvest well, Moon 64. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love Harvest Moon games. Oh. I'm going to say Digimon. Like, I just picked that up. I'm like, fuck, let's LP this been years since I've played it. Uh, two of mine uh, I keep going back to are Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI. Which Final have Fantasy you done VI that, is uh, one Natural that Magic run? No, I have not. I have not. <laughs> I always on go back. Have. Only two men go... can do it. Only two ever. That's all that's been documented, so that must be true. Oh, I said uh, tr- yeah. true men. Oh, only the true man. Yes. True men, indeed. Did, so I'll have to do it there for you. I did men, kneels before yeah. God. But yeah, Final Fantasy VI should, is one of those games I think they should do something with. Like, they've <laughs> done the sequel for Final Fantasy IV. Now they did seven. They did a bunch of stuff with seven, and then ten, and thirteen. I think yeah. that six should get something. Yeah, Even good Lord. Even had a sequel on, like, the game or the DS. I mean, all you've got to say is you guys made Final Fantasy X-2. All right, now you owe me. All right, that's right. <laughs> I didn't buy the game, but you owe me anyway. I so honestly did not think that sequel. was that bad of the game. Really? Ten two? Yes. The combat system in that game was fantastic. Well, I don't care what anybody says. They were dancing, and they were girls, and they were dancing, which is normally a good thing. It's like, oh, sure. Not this case. Let's play the first five minutes and think we judge the rest of the game. That's what I do with games, Ken Ray. <laughs> 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 Get off my plane. I actually played. I actually played through uh, X two, uh, and was disappointed. I mean, I, I guess I wasn't expecting another ten game, you know. But I, I I still enjoyed it, but not enough to call it a really good Final Fantasy game. Well, here's here's a question. Like I always talk to people about tactics, the original tactics, not tactics advance. And it seems like if you played through tactics, tactics is like, your favorite, their favorite Final Fantasy game. Ever, or at least like top three. Yeah. Like, where does tactics sit with with you guys in the grand scheme of Final Fantasy games? Because I know some people don't even include it because it's not a numbered Final Fantasy game. It's the greatest Final Fantasy game ever made. Okay, best game of all time. Ever. I, would, I wouldn't say it's, that, but it's definitely <laughs> better than seven. No, <laughs> everything is better. The shit you took this morning is better than seven B, dude. Everything you did is better than seven. Better than the first disc and a half. <laughs> Although, just kind of on that note, uh, I did take one of the biggest poops I've ever had in my life this morning. Well, thanks. Putting it out there. That just yeah. really made. Now we got. Now no one will watch us anymore. Do you, have, <laughs> do you have like handles in your bathroom that you can squeeze and you'd be like a really big dump? 
No, I just <laughs> no, I just kind of grab onto my knees. <laughs> oh, you use your knees for support. Okay, dude, that's gonna hurt your knees though. You're gonna have like cartilage damage later on. Yeah, you watch that. Tactics to taking shits. Oh my god, yeah, back to <laughs> <my favorite> tactics. <laughs> I'd say that's in my top five Final <laughs> Fantasy games. Stick that. It's my top five shits of all time, right there. That's right. <laughs> if I had the if I had the label them, it would be ten, four, and then tactics, and then six. Oh, we've been putting uh, tactics before six. That's saying yeah. something. Okay, so do you do you does everyone here like love tactics? Like, do you agree that you'd play the game again if you were yes. wanted to? Oh yeah, I do frequently. Have, have you ever? Have you guys ever heard about the like uh, insanity community? The insane what? No. And the okay, it's this it's this community. It's a forum to where they take games like Final Fantasy Tactics and games like like any of the Final Fantasy series. And they mod them to be insanely difficult. Like, they're extremely hard. Like, the first battle of the or- or- Orborn Monastery, everybody can use a phoenix down. Everybody has great equipment. They have great skills, like counter and maintenance, you know. And uh, and it's ridiculous. And, 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 like, stuff. They took elixir out of the game, you know. And now, like, uh, sword skills can be dodged. And it, it just looks like if you... You all agree that like a, you can you can break tactics very easily. It's not hard to break that game, but this but the, they take games like that and they make them truly hard to play and worth playing again. No, Just, they, they they make them giant random number generator fest. That's what they do. Right. Well, when you when you remove all when you take you know a design and say I'm going to add this here, add that here, remove you know all this beneficial stuff to counter all the crap that you're going to get thrown at you. And then say, well, now here, do this. It doesn't make it harder. It makes it a giant random number at best. Because yeah. you can lose a battle based on sheer luck. Mm-hmm. Especially That's if you how... do it right from the beginning there. That seems yeah. ridiculous to me. Like, right off, the, right off the bat there, you're completely unprepared for this challenge. But, yep, you've got to do it here. Mm. That sounds yeah. fun to me. It's not like you have to do it. It's a challenge. Just like oh, trying well, to be uh, Super Metroid <laughs> in less than two hours at 100%. Uh, yeah, but well, as long as you know where everything is in there and, like, the best ways to be bosses, you can do that. I mean, that's legitimate. Yeah, exactly. But, the same way with Final Fantasy Tactics. It's just everybody, uh, like, if, you, if, you if you're know reprogramming how to play the, the game. game. Yeah, if you're oh. literally reprogramming the game, though, like, and why would you want to be torture yourself like that? You know, just just sit back and enjoy the game, as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm a Dark Souls fan. I'm a Demon Souls fan. I like dying in games. I don't Dude, know what to But Dark you. Souls isn't the RNG. No, but it's it's the same concept that it's an extremely difficult game, and the only reward is saying I beat it. Well, yeah, that's like what I do. That's you know Ninja Gaiden. I love Ninja Gaiden. I, I, I battle just... battle toads. I've beaten battle toads before. You guys just you jumped all over me. You just like oh, it's a piece of shit. I'm fucking random number generator. So we're just, oh, I'm just saying that <laughs> you can't really compare shit. Dark Souls to this mod because we're talking about skill beating one and RNG beating the other. That's kind of like bragging to a bunch of people because you won the slot machines. And they're like, oh, well, you didn't really do much. You just kind of won. And it's like, yay. Someone else talks. I'm just talking it, now. It comes down to more yeah. luck. versus skill is all that it comes down to. That's what we're saying. Okay, but besides... Ta- okay, fine. You guys win. I suck. Good. Good. Right. You beat Dilly, Dilly everyone. Congratulations. Now we're going to an agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dilly gives his opinion, we give ours back, and he's all like, I ain't just had a defeat. No, he's not saying anything else. I wasn't attacking you, Dilly. I was attacking hacks because they suck, and they're designed by him. I just, I don't even like to play hard games to begin with, honestly, and I love playing the NES, and the best video games for the NES are the hardest games for the NES, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's just because that's their, like, their default setting. There is no way to change the difficulty to them. But, Actually, uh, speaking of that, I've been playing I Want to Be the Guy lately. Woo! That guy. was fun. That's a game that's hard just because they designed it to be hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a trial and error game. When a game is, is too much trial and error, it just gets gets stupid. And uh, I mean, I probably still enjoy it, but it's just <laughs> it's, it's stupid. But I like it. Oh, I love it. It's stupid, but it just yeah, makes it's stupid. But I like it. You know, like it's Dark just Souls. A patience Dark test. Souls, I like to an extent, but it just I don't know. It it doesn't have that NES feel to it. Where as I want to be the guy has that NES feel to it. You just want the two D side scrolling. Pretty much. <laughs> if Dark Souls was a 2D side scroller, you'd be over my <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> I want someone to make a Dark Souls 2D side scroller right go. now. Challenge hey, hey. to all the viewers out there. 
They made an 8-bit Final Fantasy VII. It can be done. <laughs> oh Have you seen God. that? The, like, the Chinese pirated version of that game? It oh might, my might gosh. actually make the game decent. It is. <laughs> <laughs> like the bee drills in it. They're literally the same sprites as bee drills. There's no being around it. They are the same. It just uh Oh look, there's a bee drill. Oh look, there's a bee drill. There's a bee drill. I'm gonna kill it with my buster sword. <laughs> oh a bee drill material. I'm gonna stick that on there. You could use a bee drill material. God. But anyhow Wait, so guys your, what what? I think that's the end of it for the night. Are you serious? I was just getting into it. Oh, well, you're done. Too bad. What do you mean? took way too you're long done. to warm up. <laughs> yeah, done. you peaked too late tonight, I'm afraid. Well, what do you have to say, Dilly? What do you have to say? Get, get off my plane. Get off my plane. <laughs> Thank you, Harrison Ford, in Air Force One. Anyhow, so any closing comments from anyone? Everyone can chop something randomly if they want. I love hard games. He just likes hard anything in them. I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Something like that sort. I think Utah Wright fell asleep. No, I'm, I have nothing to say. <laughs> nothing to say at all. Oh, awesome. Well, thanks a lot for our special guest, Ryan Phoenix. Oh, you know what I just realized? Place. We're not going to get our super awesome comments this week because Ryan Phoenix is our guest, so he doesn't have to actually watch our video. <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. Okay. Uh, I'll still comment for valid, it. Guys. Valid point. Valid <laughs> oh, point. thanks for having me. Well, it's a pleasure yeah, having awesome you, Ryan. We'll probably have you again at some other point in time. Uh, go check out his channel, everyone. Ryan Phoenix, you can find it in my sub box or any of us other people's sub boxes. Um, really amazing video game player. He knows what he's talking about, unlike us most of the time. I'd like to thank everyone else Dilly DV, G Gen Ray, Uto Rai, B Dude, 1234567890, Zero, and myself, the John Cage. I just support. like to thank myself. Yes. Support, support, the forum. Support, yeah, support, support the forum. forum. Support the forum. Go Tell your mama forum. and them, I said, how you doing? And, and, and ask your mama how she's doing. Yeah. Compliments to Dilly. Anyhow, yeah, guys, yeah. that's it. Have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching Bye. this. Comment and like if you have not. We'll talk Subscribe. to you guys next week. Subscribe. Good night.